Hi, Jim Van Zandt, one of the pastors here at Carlisle United Methodist Church, Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, we're doing a series called Building Your Faith. A little bit different idea this time. Usually in a series called Building Your Faith, you might expect topics like prayer, worship, Bible study, some of the spiritual disciplines, all of which are great and work for building your faith, but we're doing something different. We're talking about the negative experiences of our lives that can build our faith. We've talked about pain and grief. We've talked about our failures and this week we talked about the wilderness moments of our life you know what I'm talking about the wilderness moments the times when maybe you seem lost about something in your life maybe not the whole of your life but maybe some aspect of your life maybe in a relationship maybe a job maybe maybe you were wondering about your education some place where you were just kind of lost spinning your wheels just you know what I'm talking about those moments of our life how can God use those moments of our lives to build our faith. Well, I don't think it's very complicated at all. We use the example of the Israelites wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Maybe you remember that story from the Old Testament, how Moses sought their release from the Pharaoh in Egypt. And it all started out pretty good. This wandering, there was a lot of excitement. It was something new, someplace different. But eventually, they end, they end up in a place the Bible calls the wilderness of sin. And it truly was a barren wilderness. And they were there for 40 years for a whole variety of reasons that they stayed there that long in the wilderness. But it had a purpose. So do the wilderness moments in our lives if we give ourselves over to God and to the ways of God. And there's two things we need to remember about our wilderness moments. Number one, that time is not wasted. It may seem wasted to you, like you're going nowhere, nothing's happening, but under God's leadership, that is never wasted. And the second thing to understand is they have a purpose. And you might think, what purpose could it possibly have? Well, I know in my life, and probably in your life too, the wilderness moments God always seems to be using as a time of preparation. For what? For the next thing. The next thing you might not even be aware about, have no idea about, but it's a time of preparation for the next thing. And so the time is not wasted. You know, one of the ways you can turn those wasted moments around or what seem like wasted moments around is to pause for just a moment and ask, your, ask God this question. Oh God, what do you want me to learn from this? Oh God, what are you trying to teach me? Changes your attitude toward that particular moment and causes you to look for something else turns a negative into a positive. So those places, times, moments of your lives where you think like you're just spinning your wheels, you're not getting anywhere, no progress as far as you can understand, pause for a minute and rather than focus on the negative, focus in a prayer to God about what it is you might, he might be preparing you for, what it is you need to be looking for, for the next thing in your life. Thanks for tuning in, Sermon in Three Minutes. See ya.